James Gordon. The time for your penance has come. Who are you? I am Azrael, righteous scourge of sins. And I have come to kill you, James Gordon. You miss her. You miss her loyalty, her strength. She made you better, and you know it. Did you sacrifice that for what? Play queen for a day? Pathetic. If it helps, you never deserved her in the first place. I guess we'll see. Pepper was sacrificed so that the people of Gotham would see swift justice done, so they can feel safe and secure. And that matters so much to you. Of course. I'm a businessman. You can't have organized crime without law and order. I love this city, and I see it going to hell. But I won't let it fall apart without a fight. You make a life of crime sound very noble. You have a hard head, James, just like your father. Don't be self-righteous. Don't be arrogant. You want me to keep quiet about all this? Gotham is on a knife edge. What do you suppose bringing down City Hall and the police force will do, even if you could? Would it make things better? In Boca a Lupo. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> That's a hell of a thing. Can I help you? You're so beautiful. Thanks. Now move. You and I both to see all too well the corruption, the filth inside the GCPD. You and I know that Gotham cannot survive unless the cancer is cut out. We both share the same mission. Only I do it with a little bit more flair. Do you hear my watch ticking? Yeah. Listen closer. The ticking, it synchronizes with your heartbeat, yes? Look into my eyes, not above them or around them, into their center. Are you asleep, Jim? Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Victor Zaz. I'm sent here personally by Don Carmine Falcone himself on a matter of deep concern to him, so please be respectful. There are 50 cops in here. Try something. Everybody out. Please?
Welcome to the Court of Owls. I cured myself. See, I feared the Scarecrow. And now we are one. Jonathan, please, if you you're just... not listening to me, Warden! Jonathan Crane is no more! Call me by my true name! The Scarecrow! You never deserved her in the first place. Rest in peace, Butch Gilzing, Cyrus Gold, <laughs> whoever the hell you are. <laughs> Solomon Grundy, born on Monday. Legally, your corpse is in the Arkham Moor, but obviously you're here. Indian Hill. Indian Hill's a toxic waste dump. A useful fiction. The one who spoke to me in Ark. Uh, Hugo Strange. Pleasure to meet you face to face. Death is not an ending. Death is a new beginning. I need a favor. I figure you owe me one. <laughs> I do. I'm always happy to help you, Jim, but I, I, I don't recall. The hospital. I saved you from Maroney's men. But I was only there because you arrested me. For attempted murder. Remind me again why I let you go. Enlightened friendship. I call us even, but <laughs> let's not quibble. I'm so happy you came to me for help, Jim. The answer is yes. Your wish is granted. You don't know what it is yet. You want Loeb fired and your old job back, no? Yes. For a good friend like you, it can be done. If you're sure that's what you want. Let's begin. Wonderful. I will give you three riddles. For every riddle you get wrong, I cut a rope. You get three wrong, and this excuse for a higher primate, and the antidote around his neck, fall over the ledge. <laughs> Am I clear? And if I get them right? Everyone lives, even if you get just one. Can't say fairer than that. But now I know who I am without him. So who are you now? Oh, come on, Foxy. I'm the Riddler. <laughs> oh, I missed. <laughs> Is there a plan for all this madness? These people don't want a plan. They want an excuse. A mother who dreams of strangling her child. Husband who wants to stab his wife. All they want is someone to tell them. Do it. Kill them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Ugh, you're so boring, Bruce. No! no! Oh, sorry. <laughs> 